Okay, here's our new haul from the Asian supermarket, and Jules uh, knows this stuff better than I do, so he can help me uh, remember what all this stuff is. Anyway, so what's this called again? Topoki. It's a rice cake with spicy sauce. Oh, those are those small little. Yeah. They're like a noodle, but they're rice. Yeah. Okay. Spicy seasoning soup. Those are good. Alrighty. And then I got this the other day. It's grape and rose flavored um, juice. And it's got those little aloe bits in it. And, oh man, it's good. And then this one is um, just grape, I think. And then, yeah, what kind of noodles are those? Chinese style with some Sichuan peppercorn and stuff. Danzan noodle. Those are all picked over, so they must be good. Okay. Oop, let's put that over there. Then what kind Tropical. of juice? It's a it's a Japanese uh, strawberry. Oh, strawberry! It's like okay. a milk product. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. Oh, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and there you go. You're excited about these. Yeah. So top saver onion king crab chips. It looks like it won. Some, oops. Seafood chips are good. It probably won some kind of award or something. That little yeah. label up there. Pomelo. Pomelo. Biggest so, citrus. Oh, well, the biggest citrus? Yeah. Honey pomelo. I think that's a cross between something, is it? Or is it yeah, just. Yeah, it's kind own? of like a. I think pomelo is a cross breed of citruses. Where was that from? Does it say on there where it's from? Um, I think they can be go down south in Southeast Asia. And then, what's this? White peppercorn rice with beef instant. It's oh, it's like an instant in little thing. Oh, okay. Snack. Alrighty. Clementine soda. Oh, Clementines. Ooh. Yeah, like the Clementine products there. They bought. And this is a Japanese product, Japanese curry mix, and this is the medium hot. I almost grabbed spicy. <laughs> yeah, I, I like spicy, but not where uh, that's all I can, you know, my mouse on fire. Cheese ramen. <laughs> Cheese ramen. I love the little packaging. <laughs> It's Korean. Yeah. Yeah. That's Korean. Yeah, Korean yeah. And then uh, extra silken tofu. Throw that in the pad thai for tonight. Oh yeah, we're side. making. We, we, what are you, I shouldn't say we are making. You're making what pad thai? Pad thai. Got the pea shoots and the chilies. Oh, got yeah, peanuts the, over there. Oh yeah. Woo, here we go. The green ones are the less ripe, but these are ripe and hotter. Oh, oh. See how spicy they are. I'll use. <laughs> To taste after that. <laughs> Might be a little too spicy for me. Oh, and you got, or, oh, where's the pea shoot? The pea shoot's right there. There's uh, some pea shoots. Mm -hmm. And this and is kind of neat. This is uh, Viet noodles. And this Rice is made noodle. in Thailand, I think. And look how they uh, individually wrapped each little bundle. Eh? I love the packaging in some of these. Oh, it's Vietnam. No, it was Thai, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, Thai. Why did I say Viet? No, no, it was. Uh, yeah, time separately. And then I did get some of this uh, shampoo by Rio, and I believe this is Korean. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is Korean. So this actually has ginger in it, and I do have some, but I'm getting low on it. And uh, it's oh, it smells so good with the ginger and uh, not the ginger, the ginseng in there. Not distracted from their ingredients and, um, for a pad thai. I got the shampoo and conditioner. Oh, I really like this. It just makes your hair so soft and, and silky. This is like a Chinese uh, green onion. A little bit bigger. For the pad thai. And for the pad thai, I got tamarind sauce. And some fish sauce. And oyster sauce with cute little people. Yeah, I love this little. Harvesting giant oysters. So that's for yeah. pad thai as well. And the fish. And then uh, this is chrysanthemum tea with ginseng. So if you get just straight authentic ginseng tea, it's very expensive. Um, so this was a little bit better price. Um, where is this made? San Francisco. Is that the... Oh, oh gotta have some coconut milk. Well, this is more cream. It's good for desserts and cooking. Oh, so. just wait, it's not focusing. There we go. Yeah, have me some coconut milk and cream. And then this is actually made in Cairo, Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, this is ginger and cinnamon tea. I love ginger tea. I love cinnamon tea. So I got a little combo going there. 
And Jules, you gotta make me some Chinese lemon chicken. Well, I could batter it too and fry it in the well, deep that, fryer Yeah, that'd be good. Put it in there so it stays crispy. I love lemon chicken. And then it's uh, they had they have lot chopsticks and plates and saucepans and oh, get my um, get that pan out, okay. the the double pan. Oh, the hot pot pan. Yeah. So this is a wine dispenser, just a cork with the wine. It should be on the near the floor. Now this we've had before. This is Wolski. It's made in Poland. Green tomato salad. They have different, many, many different flavors. But is it ever good? And this big jar was like two or three dollars. Um, it's just, it's not overly vinegary or it's just a really, really nice. And then this we bought purchased before this is um i believe this is made in canada but it's a caribbean combo caribbean seasoned rice oh that's good and, and that one's really it's, oh, it's really great product it's yeah, very good, good seasoning. And this is made in canada i just like throwing this on my uh yogurts along with some fruit uh just uh you know, nuts and and dried fruit in that Oh yes, and I have this uh, ginger cinnamon. Uh, oh, where's this other thing? Oh, it's a product of Korea. It has cinnamon, ginger, apple, pear, radish, onion, sugar, and licorice. And our cutting board. And then we got a bamboo cutting board. Because if you use a knife on granite, it'll dull it. If you have a good quality knife, this will take the blows and dent in a bit. So it's okay. better for your knife. And bamboo's sustainable. <laughs> And then we bought this a uh, few months ago from the Asian supermarket here. It's got these beautiful handles on it. And it's actually got two sides it's and it's got this pot. barrier. It's supposed to be like a hot pot dish. Because, yeah, you have your hot pot. You might have a bone broth that's kind of mild with some goji barrier like stuff in there and this and that. And then this is for your like spicy, uh, spicy side. And you, traditionally, you'll cook it and keep it bubbling. Get your meat, dip it in for five seconds, take it out. Mm -hmm. Same with the other stuff. So the other night you made two different soups and kept them separate with this little barrier. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a, it's a nifty, nifty little idea. And look at there, you can see through the top here. And uh, yeah, I just love the handles on there. So uh, tonight, uh, pad, th what was it pad thai? Pad thai. And. Um, those dump those Korean dumplings. Oh yeah, I can you're going to deep yeah. fry those. Yeah, yeah. So, show those? yeah, those are good. Yeah, I showed that the other day. Those are good. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's our little Asian haul, and um, I have to make that for you. We have to make this. This is <laughs> this we got in that uh, small little market there, mulled wine. So you're supposed to add. In a saucepan, half a bottle of red wine, 100 mils of orange juice, and the contents of this package. Yeah. And stir gently with a whisk. You can make your That's own gonna too. It's going to be good. And I can try that. All you need is your wine, put in a stove pan with your orange slices, star anise, cinnamon. Oh, and, and we got a cinnamon stick still, I think. Too, yeah, so. and then you just boil it away and it'll be done. You can pop in the fridge later. Mm, yeah, that, good. that'll be good. So, that's our little haul, and... Um, when uh, Jewel starts cooking, we'll we'll show you how we make that pad. Well, I keep saying we. How Julian, our uh, cook here, makes the uh, the pad thai. I'm trying to make it like a little restaurant that we have. We have the best stuff over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we'll be back. Okay. So we got our chicken, onions, and just a couple of these little peppers because they're hot. <laughs> and then what are you making in here? Your sauce. Tamarind, oyster, fish, brown sugar. Oh, okay. So that's the oyster sauce, tamarind sauce. The noodles, so it's got a fish. You, have, you don't boil them, you just put boiling water over them for like so five minutes. Noodles, we're going to try for the pad thai. Oh, individually wrapped. Okay, so this is the 
pad thai noodles. Do you have to soak them? Yeah. I'll do it last minute since I uh, don't want to leave them up too long. And then over here we got some uh, garnish from on top. Oh, grind the peanuts on my way. Nope, gotta grind some peanuts. Garnish on top. Let's have your peanuts and Thai cuisine. Oop, that's for the dogs. Oh, you added egg? Yeah, you stir it. And over here we have the Korean, um, whatchamacallit, dumplings, dumplings, and they're, uh, spicy ones, eh? Nicely spicy. They make them nice and crispy on the outside. Okay, let's mix that in now. That's all, I'll cook a bit more and I'll mix them. Got the chicken, onions. A couple little chili peppers, like, and then the middle of the And then, just soak in the noodles. Okay, so you added the noodles. Just soak up the sauce. Soak up the sauce. Look, nice once the greens get in there. Ooh, nice and crispy. Wow, my little dumpling. Okay, for a bonus, we're peeling the pomelo. Lots of pith. So yeah, it's just it's basically like peeling an orange or a grapefruit. Yeah, it's uh yeah, I looked into it. It's native to Southeast Asia. It grows on trees. Thick. That must be a heavy duty stem to hang on to that. And, uh, it tastes like sweet grapefruit. Oh, it's not as sour as grapefruit. No, it's sweet like honey. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Here, let me take the little. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's not sour at all. Mm. Oh, it's nice. Mm hmm. It's just like a, a very light, it's like an orange, yeah. but just very, it's <laughs> light. Things inside. Yeah, and keep it in the fridge for a week. Oh, that is good. A little snack for dessert. Yeah. Okay, so the garnish is going on. That's the, was it baby sprouts? No. Yeah. Well, bean sprouts. Pea shoots, actually. Pea shoots, pea Let's shoots. Okay. Bean sprouts. Just let them all kind of keep it on low, let them cook down a second. Oh, you gotta cook them down a bit. You don't have to, I like the crunch. Once yeah. you mix it in. Probably don't need to cook it for much. And then... Fistfuls. Onion greens. Some more in there. There we go. And then the... Can add more peanuts later to taste. Just get even a nice coating. That should be it. Yum. There we go. Crispy. And then our crisply, crisply, crispy dumplings with them. Oh, that's it. Good. That's All summer. Right. Yum. Summer. It's so I can't. Jeez, I can't talk. <laughs> Supper is ready. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.